I want to tell you an amazing story. It begins on June 11, 1962, and it ends on June 11, 2005. It's exactly 43 years in the making of this story. It starts out in Gainesville, Florida. That's in North Central Florida. And that's where I was in 1962. I was a senior at the University of Florida, getting my degree in education. In the meantime, Gary Waller was also in Gainesville at that time. He was the pastor of the First Presbyterian Church of Gainesville. We didn't know each other, our paths never crossed. And so in 1962, I graduated from the university and many years went by. I went to Atlanta to teach for a few years and then ultimately went to Orlando, Florida, again teaching for several years. I also went to Australia, where I lived for a number of years, and then ultimately to beautiful Southern California. Now in the meantime, Gary Waller was involved with a mission group there on the Mexico-Arizona border. He then went to North Carolina to a church where he served in there in that area and then ultimately to South Carolina where he was a pastor. Eventually Gary ended up back at the First Presbyterian Church of Gainesville. Well I happen to have a daughter who lives in Ocala, Florida which is very close to Gainesville and I decided to go visit with her for a couple of weeks. Well while I was there her in-laws were hosting a dinner party at the Golden Ocala Country Club. It was a fundraiser for the Arthritis Foundation, and they were inviting various people that they knew. They had a big room to fill, a lot of tables with eight chairs at each table, and it turns out that one of them was missing a person to sit there. So they decided to call their friend Gary Waller, whom they had known for a number of years, to see if he would come. I was a little reluctant to accept that invitation because I thought I was being set up and I didn't want to do that. But I accepted and when I got there and saw her, I said to myself, boy, I'm really glad I came. And so we developed our friendship, having fun together, getting to know one another, going sailing and to the ocean and just having fun. And that of course developed into a love relationship ultimately. And you can imagine what's coming next. Yes, exactly on June 11, remember that date, June 11, this was 2005, we married in South Carolina. What a beautiful day that was. Well, while I was looking through my scrapbook many years later after we were married, I came across my old University of Florida commencement program. I turned open to the first page and what did I see? J. Gary Waller had given the invocation that day. And he also gave the benediction. We were in the same building at the same time in 1962, and exactly the same day, 43 years later, we were married. Well, it's a pretty amazing story, don't you think? That June 11, we were in the same building in 1962 and married on that exact same day, 43 years later. You suppose it was a coincidence, or do you think it was God's plan for Gary and me all along? Well, I don't know the answer exactly, but I do know one thing for sure, and that is I am very, very grateful for the outcome. <laughs>